All right. So, a couple of geometric development exercises to help you guys out there that um, are struggling a little bit just to pick it up. So, just watch these, do it, watch it again, do it, watch it again. Just, you know, you, it'll slowly start to sink in. Um, the whole idea for this is then you can focus on the, the job that we're actually doing, like a transition piece or something like that, instead of worrying about, oh, bugger, how do I, how do, I do a 90 degree line? It's just asked me to bisect something, how do you bisect something again? So the only way these will help you is if you just keep watching them and keep doing it. All right, so first, first thing is 90 degree. Usually that's how we start off all of our um, developments one way or another. There's heaps of different ways to do it and there'll be circumstances there where you do it in the middle of the page and ones where you're on the edge of the page. So we'll just run through two basic ones um, and you can use them time and time again. So usually you pick where you start. Right now I'm just going to start, I'm just going to sort of put my ruler on the bottom of the page and put in like a baseline. So I, when you guys are doing it, I want you to do light lines. I'm trying to press as hard as I can so that at least this comes up on this little video. You can see that, I think. Just extend it all the way. What I'll do is a 90 degree line over here somewhere and I'll do one on the edge of the page. So to do this, obviously pencil, 300 mil rule, um, and your compass and really if you make a mistake you make a mistake it's not don't worry about rubbing it out we're only doing a couple of little ones so you won't make too much of a mess so pick the spot let's just say I've got 150 million off the edge of the page me I've just got a bit a3 sheet here all right you can do this on a bit of a4 if you want, doesn't really matter. So with this, every 90 degree line that you make, every perpendicular line, so perpendicular basically means uh, at 90 degrees or at right angles to another line. So we're making a line that comes up there. It's 90 degrees to this baseline here that we've put in. So every single one you do, but how your compass, how wide apart it is, the dimension between those two points um, changes every time and it's no specific measurement. You make it big enough or scale it up to the size of the development you're doing. The bigger it is, usually the more accurate you're going to be. You don't want to be too small so it doesn't give you a greater big enough surface area to run over. Um, less accurate and you don't want to be too big where you're going to run off the page because this starts to grow a bit so first off just open it up i think i'm you know what am i at about 80 mil that's my mark there i do half a circle from there i put the point of my compass on those two lines that intersect my baseline Scrub two arcs over the top of that semicircle I just made. From those two points, I then pop up to here and scribe two arcs, one off there, one off here, roughly where I think 90 degrees is going to be. And say so if they don't quite meet up, you just go back and uh, lengthen it. And from this point here to that point there, if you line those two points up, that should be 90 degrees bang on. All right, 90 degrees. If you do that a few times, that'll start to sink in. All right, so the next one after that is the 90 degrees, say, on the edge of a page. We don't have, say, the luxury of going, doing a big arc like this, but we still want a big scale. So we're, we're accurate. So say, let's say I'm just going to start over here about 20 mil over this side of the page. All right. What I want you to do now though is like pause video and just do that and then go back and do it again 
and go back and do it again. Just repetition, guys. It's, it's, it can be mundane, but it's how it works. And if you don't do this, you're going to start falling behind. So pause it now, do a few of them, and then we'll pick this one up. So this one, there's my mark there. I just put a point of my compass on that mark. I scribe an arc. Say so from the edge of my page down to where it hits um, our baseline. From there, I'll put the point of my compass on that mark there. Inscribe an arc intersecting that quarter of a circle I've just done now. That gives me another point to put up here. So you notice with this one here and with this one here, I did take a measurement for my compass, but it's relative to the size I'm working on and it hasn't changed at all from here to there, from all the marks that I've done. That's one rule about this, can't change. If you start making dimensional changes between your compass, between each step, then you, you've lost your accuracy. All right, so that's, that's all we've got to do there. So now, We've done a quarter of a circle from that point. We've done a mark from that point. I've scribed another arc roughly where I think is 90 degrees to our point that we've picked up off the baseline. From there, I line this point up here and this point here. And where those two line up should run through this arc that I've put in up here. I just put another little cross with my ruler. All right, so let's move that over a little bit. Can you guys see that? It's a bit light. But we use those two points to line that up, and then from here to that new cross that we've just made up the top there, it becomes 90 degrees. So that's 90 in there. All right, so you do that one a few times. Now, if you have a look at what we've done here, it's half of this really. So I use my ruler to get a point up here. If you have a look over at this one, I'll line my ruler up on those two points. It intersects there as well. So everything you know, you'll find a lot of this stuff is pretty uh, interrelated. You do part of something, you done half of a development another way so um yeah once you start to sort of get it in your head things tend to stick a lot all right so um, one of the other things you guys have got to do uh bisections so bisecting a line bisecting an angle so i've asked you guys to you know make a 90 degree line and then what we're actually after is a 45 degree line. So if that's 90 in here, you're saying when there's 90, we want a line coming out there somewhere. We want to cut that in half, bisect it to get 45. All right. So same thing again, your compass, the length of your compass doesn't matter. So that can be any length. I can make it a bit smaller. I can make it a bit wider. I could have left it where it was. It doesn't really matter. So if I want to bisect this 90 degrees into 45, say over this side, put the point of my compass at the center, open it up, make it smaller. It doesn't really matter. I'll put a mark there, one there, and then from those two points, I just put a cross in the middle. All right, and then pick up the center and this intersection out here that we've made, and we put a line in. That's it, that's 45, and that's 45. 45 degrees, we just cut that in half. We can do this same technique again. Picking up off the center, another mark there, 
we've already got there, that's the same length, so we don't need to mark it again. Over here. All right, we've just cut that 45 in half. We end up with two little slices of pie there that are 22 and a half degrees. There's not a lot of movements, not a lot of things we need to do to get that much work done. So practice that one as well. That's another one, bisecting 45 and then bisect it again to get 22 and a half. Now you notice a lot of the stuff that you will be doing, let's just say I'll, I'll move my compass back to this distance here, which is what we used to make our 90 degree. When we're bisecting an angle, all we need is an equal distance from the centre each way out. So if I kept that at that distance, I could have used that point and that point. It doesn't matter. One of the other things um, you're going to have to do as well is get a few other angles. So there's a certain amount of angles we can get with a compass. All right, we can get 45 and we can get divisions of that 22. We just keep going, cutting it down half and cut it in half and cut it in half again. There's other angles we can develop too. So we can get a 30 degree angle and we can get a 60 degree angle That'll allow us to get 15 degree angles and stuff like that if we look at bisecting those 30 degrees as well, which you will be doing. So let's have a look at how we get a 30 degree angle. All right, so this side we've done, we've bisected to get 45. Over this side here, we'll get our 30 degree angle. So you just put an arc in. Let's say if you've already done the 90 degree development, I would just use that arc that's already there. So you've got your quarter of a circle. The rule is that distance needs to stay the same. So once you put your quarter of a circle in, you come off of that point and you put a mark in. We've already got one there from our 90 degree development. You can come up here and put a mark in. So those two points there that intersect or that cut through this quarter circle that we've got um, create our 30 and 60 degrees. So let's just have a look at this. Our first mark here, I'll put a line in. All right. In here is now, make that darker. That's now 30 degrees which if that's 90 degrees, that tells us the remainder is 60. So sometimes you want the 60 degree angle sort of on this side. Other times you're going to want the 60 degree, 60 degree angle down on the other side. So we can just bring the compass down the other way and that'll give us 60 degrees going the other way and 30 degrees down the bottom. So what we're doing is pretty much cutting that bit of pie up into 30 degree segments. All right. So there, there are a couple of basic techniques. The last one that I want you to practice Uh, we'll just extend that line a little bit, is bisecting a line. So let's just say for some reason we need a 90 degree line off there somewhere and the drawing's telling us, oh, I don't know, we want it 200 mil from this centre point. So you mark up 200 mil. All right, so there's the centre. But now we need a 90 degree line. We have nothing to measure off. We're going to have to construct one with our compass. Instead of doing all of this, we can just bisect that line if there's enough space around it. So how to bisect? Same 
principle as sort of what went on here with our 45 degrees. So there's the center. Set your compass at a distance appropriate to the size you're working. Put a mark either side. Those distances need to be equal. From there, we need to make sure our compass is probably longer than the center. All right. So you just open up your compass a little bit more. Maybe go in between. Put a scribe at the top, roughly where you think that 90 degrees is going to come through. One down the bottom. And go over here. And do the same thing again. Top and bottom. You've then cut that line off at that 200 mil measurement. That's 90 degrees in there. So those few um, methods will get you out of trouble for a lot of the stuff that we need to do. They're, they're basic, they're fundamental, and if you don't get them, you don't start practicing them because you're not understanding them then you will struggle. So keep doing them. Do the 90 degrees in the middle. Do a 90 degree on the edge of a page. Cut that 90 degree into 45 and then cut it again, bisecting it. Create 60 degrees, create your 30 degrees. You can do that again on here for practice or you can cut that again um, into 45s, doesn't matter. And then um, bisect a few straight lines. All right, just practice those techniques and you'll be in like much better shape to tackle third year. Um, if you don't have the space, just keep getting other bits of paper, make things smaller so it fits on whatever you've got there. All right, but if you just keep doing them, you'll be surprised um, your days at TAFE will become a lot easier.